Hello, good day to all my viewers around the world. You're welcome to my YouTube channel today. Um, once again, we'll be looking at um, Nigerian Mathematics Olympia, first round for junior category. But before we go ahead, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, and share. Thank you. All right, going back to the question we have on the screen, the area of a triangle is four root six meters squared. The perimeter is 16 meter and one side is seven meter. What is the length of the longest side? How do we solve a question like this? So let's take a look at the question in general. We have um, the solution now. Okay, so here is the solution. Okay, we're talking about um, a triangle and um, the first thing we need to consider there is the perimeter. So let's A comma B and C be the three sides of the triangle. Okay, because we're talking about um, the triangle, so we're representing A, B, and C with the three sides of the triangle. And um, with this, if we're talking about a perimeter, the perimeter is going to be A plus B plus C, okay? That's the perimeter, that's addition of all the sides, okay? And from there, we're told that the perimeter is 16 meters. So here we have, 16 is equal to A plus B. And um, from the question also, we have um, one of the sides to be seven meters. So I'm going to make C to be the seven uh, meter. So here is C, which is seven, okay? And from here, if we take this one to the other side, it becomes minus. So this is going to be, let me write to be A plus B is equal to 16 minus seven. And here is going to give us A plus B is equal to nine. So let's take this one as equation one. All right, now let's go back to the question. The question also gave us an um, area to be four root two, I mean, sorry, root six, four root six. And um, for us to be able to get this proper because we also have perimeter in the question. So we're going to use um, the area of a triangle, the one for Aaron's formula. So we're using Aaron's formula here. And the, what is the area using Aaron's formula? We have area is equal to square root of S into bracket S minus A. Okay, then open a bracket S minus B. Okay, and the last one S minus C. Where A, B, and C are the three sides of the triangle. And what is our S? Don't forget, S is the semi-perimeter. That means your A plus B plus C, then over two, which is the same thing as the perimeter over two. We call it um, semi-perimeter. So after this now, the next thing is to calculate, um, let's calculate um, the semi-perimeter. And how do we get a semi-perimeter? We know our perimeter already. It has been given from the question, which is 16. So we have um, A plus B plus C, which is, um, the perimeter is equal to 16, okay, over two, which will eventually be what, be eight. And from what we have here, if we have this to be eight, then what is the next thing? So the next thing is going to be, um, we have um, going by the Aaron's formula that we have here, we substitute our S into the square root. So here we have um, A, Area, which is area is equal to square root of, what is our S? Our S is eight. So here is eight into bracket of um, eight minus A. Don't forget, A is one of the sides and we don't know it. And um, the next one is eight minus B. And the last one is eight minus, the C is known, which is seven. Okay, this is gonna be eight minus seven, all right? And also we're given the area to be what? Four root six, so I will replace A with four root six. So this is gonna give us four root six, which is equal to square root of, here we have A into bracket of eight minus A. 
okay? Then um, eight minus P, of course, this is gonna give us one, eight minus seven, which is one. And from here, what do we need to do? Let's take the square root of both sides, okay? Take the square root of both sides. Take the square roots of both sides. So in taking the square root of both sides, this is four root six in open and close bracket squared. Then taking the square root, square root, we eliminate this one. We are left with what? Eight into bracket eight minus A and also eight minus P. Okay. If you take the square root of this one, this is going to be four squared and root six squared. Four squared is 16. Then root six squared is going to give us six. So that means um, 16 times six, that's going to give us 96. So we have 96 is equal to, um, this is eight into bracket of eight minus A, okay? Then we also have um, eight minus P, all right? I can eliminate this E, I mean divide both sides by eight, this also by eight. So eight, we eliminate eight here, okay? And from there, what are we going to get? We're going to get 12 here. Eight here one, and eight here is um, 12, okay? And um, here becomes um, 12 is equal to eight minus A and um, eight minus P. Now, what do we need to do from here? I will open this bracket that we have here. In opening the bracket, that means this is going to give us, um, okay, 12 is equal to um, eight times eight, that will give us 64, all right? Then eight times minus B, that's minus eight B, okay? Then minus eight A, and also plus a b okay so if we have this let's take um 64 to this side then we we'll also take this part here to this side in taking that to the side here we have um minus 8 b minus 8 a will be 8 a plus 8 b okay then we have um plus 12 this one comes here that will be minus um, 64, then which is equal to um, AB. Okay. And from there, let's factorize this. There is something that is common here. Eight into bracket of A plus B, okay? Plus 12 minus 64 is equal to AB. And um, also, don't forget that we know our AB already, okay? And what is our AB from the question? Look at the equation one here. Our AB is what? Is um, nine. So substitute this nine here. So this is going to give us, um, here we have eight into bracket of nine, okay? Then plus 12 minus 64 is equal to AB. Now, if you multiply eight times nine, that's going to give us 72. Okay, this is 72 here, and um, plus 12 minus 64 is equal to AB. And adding these two together, that's going to give us um, 84 minus 64 is equal to um, AB. All right, and if you subtract this, you can have, therefore, AB is equal to 20. So this is equation two. Now, remember that, um, um, in quadratic equation, we have sum of roots to be A plus B. And then um, we have the products of roots, okay? Product of roots to be A, B. So we can write our equation to be X squared minus sum of roots of X, okay? Then plus the product of roots, okay? Which is equal to um, zero. And from here, we know our a, B, a plus B, and we know our A, B. A plus B is given to be nine. So this is X squared minus nine X, okay? And from here, we have plus, what is our product? Our product is given to be 20, okay? 20, which is equal to zero. And also from here, we can solve this quadratically. And in solving quadratically, 
how do we go about it? So this is going to give us, um, here we have, um, if you solve this one quadratically, we are going to have x squared minus four, okay? And uh, this is going to be x, oh, sorry, this is x, not x squared, sorry. This is x, okay, let's go on. So this is um, x here minus four and um, x plus five, which is equal to zero. So this is um, the way, um, sorry, this is also minus here because if you multiply x times x, we get x squared, x times minus five, we get minus five x, then minus four x, that's minus nine, minus times minus, we give plus, okay? So this is minus here, is equal to zero. So here we have, um, x is equal to, um, this will be positive, x is equal to four, or um, x is equal to um, five. So in a nutshell, the norm are uh, the sides that we're talking about, the three sides we're talking about is going to be a is equal to be four, b is equal to five, and um, the c we're talking about, is equal to um, seven, all right? And um, if we take a look at this together, the addition, we can confirm that to get our perimeter here, okay? And the addition is going to be A um, plus B plus C, which is the perimeter, and that's going to be what? Four plus um, B is five, and the plus C, which is seven. And when you take a look at this now, four plus five is nine, nine plus seven, that's going to give us 16. So 16 here is the perimeter here. So this is the solution to this question. I believe you enjoy um, this class here. And uh, please, for the last time, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and comment. See you next class. Thank you.